Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today we are going to be starting the Scrap Mechanic Building Series. Now today we are going to be building the Sunshake Vending Machine, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've already recorded um, 45 minutes of video of building this, but the software I was using completely was, was just completely useless. Um, it was so laggy, so I've tried one that I used to use, but it had a bug in my computer, so I had to restart my computer to do stuff. But I, it makes the, game, the recording not lag at all, so I don't know why that is. So we're going to have to just use this for recording. All I've done so far is this little push bit and maybe half of the glass, so I'm going to turn around now and show you what I have done. So, that's what I've done so far. It looks alright. Hasn't been completely finished yet. Um, there is no volume because volume was having some effect with me and my recording as well. Like the, the like amount of noise and all. Like I still haven't figured out the correct amount. Like what percentage to put volume up as yet. So, I'll try and figure out something with that next time but for now we are going to be doing this we're going to pop onto that and get up here so when I first built this this wasn't high enough for the glass so we're going to go across here with the glass again so that's five and I think that was like two of that I've got all these measured out I explained it in my old recording but uh, these here round bits are like three blocks each and on the actual um, vending machine I've measured out parts of it and all so I um, made it so it would be like one pixel on that or whatever the measurement is I, I decided is three blocks on the big build yeah it's it's um, it's different it's a different way to measure stuff for a lot of people but it's working so far for me this new measuring way and that's all we really need to do so we'll just place that there and we'll put actually we need to get rid of this or we can get rid of me no we need to get rid of that metal there because that was part of a old um old measuring I was doing until I realized that the glass was not high enough up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go around here and do this. So guys if you just want to, me to build anything in Scrap Mechanic that's in Scrap Mechanic I would want but if not in Scrap Mechanic that's alright. But ooh, <laughs> Yeah, I want to do loads of building in this world because I'm going to be building them on the grind so they won't be in the item shop or the what's it called the um what do you call it the workshop it won't be in the workshop unfortunately because it's going to be welded uh, is welded right now onto the grind just for lag purposes really so anyway here we are at the top. If we can, can we get rid of that? Come on, come on. There we go. So we'll build this across again with the glass. Yeah. As I said, we will get rid of that. I cannot see that glass. I think it's there. Was that right? Yo, I got it. So there we go. Let's see what that looks like. You think that's big enough? Let's let's place that and let's put that there. Um, I think I'll have to go all the way up. I think I will. I'm gonna go all the way up. Can we, can we build up with these? No. Of course I can't. 
video guys on a the V hatch. Um, you can actually hit it and it will actually open. I might add a button for it to open, but then it's not like the real deal, you know. So we'll just place this here and we'll go on up the elevator to the top. I think I'm gonna have to make a wee piston out here to get out of here, which would be fine. Totally fine with that. It's right here, you dummy. So we'll just get up here and we'll fill the rest of this here in with glass. Do do. Come on. Hey guys, another reason why I don't use this software anymore is because it records my voice extremely quiet. So I'm gonna have to edit this like three times just to get the volume to the right height because um the, the product or the software that i use then to edit why are you not placing amigos ignore all the spanish there we go um what was i saying very push my we'll build up this way there Okay, dookie, there we go. Build you up. Can we build you up, please? Alright, bop, bop. And we'll just do a cross here. There we go. So there's the full length of that, and I have also measured the rest of it out. So I need to get these um circular pieces again so where are they ba, 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 ba. <laughs> do you see them anywhere can you see the circular pieces i don't i soon will probably though that probably copyright um dum 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 ah uh, there we go there we go so let's go across here and build this come on one so it's nine I have to do two three four five six seven Eight, nine. Now you may be asking, why nine? Well, I measured the top of the vending machine size compared to the bottom, and it is slightly taller. Or no, no, it's it is slightly slightly taller, I suppose. No, it's not actually. I measured it out. They're both two blocks tall. For, um, just trying to concentrate. Where I place these? Six. Seven, eight, nine. I think that's nine. Um, but yeah, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the measurements. Um, so I thought that they were both the same height. So we've got five of these down there, and then you've got like the one they're facing, you know, like that way, but opposite, which is um, like. Let me see if I can get it. That. No, 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 not that way. The way of got well, yeah, like out there. So it's it's two of them. Oh, I am stupid. It's two of them. That's seven. So get rid of two of them. Probably you should just keep. Two. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, that's the top done. Now I am going to um. Stop the recording and build myself a little piston, um, piston elevator to get to the top here. So I will see you when I build that. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, I have made the piston elevator, and I have also added. Um, the side panels to the vending machine. So we just go to click number two and we will slowly go upwards. Um, 
jump out here. I really do think that needs more um, more room to move in. Just, just let me add a wee bit more room here with a super light block that I can destroy with my hammer. Right, there we go. Um, it's supposed to be taller, why is it not taller? One of the pistons must be working. Um, anyway guys, um, I've put Venom Machine up here so we can work with it as well. Um, yeah, let's maybe um, work on the roof I would say. Get that bit done and over with. Um, I haven't added that there um, yet. Maybe I'm over there. No, it's not. So, yeah, let's just get up there. You know what? I could have just added chairs to get up. Oof. Super big oof. Well, well, we can use them now to get to the top. So let's um get that part again. I know where it is now, so. It's not as difficult to find it. So, um, yeah, I, I forgot to tell you that it is three by three, um, 16 blocks full wide. Um, so that's because the real vending machine is five little blocks by five little blocks by eight. So it's eight up and um, five wide and five long, whatever, whatever you, way you say it. It's, that's what it is. Is this right? Yay! There we go. We've got the sides all done now. So let's get going with the roof. So I'm thinking the roof will be metal again and we'll just colour it in. Yeah, because we like colouring in here. Or mobile scrap channel. Oh, we love to colour in. So all we have to do is just do three wide, and that's all really. Just do that. All right, everyone. I have finished the roof, and I have placed once again another vending machine. And that's not the front. We'll remove that. In order to face the front. There we go. Um, so yeah, well, that's the roof done. Except for that, if we place one like that, and we can see the top. That can make this a solid object. Yeah. So we've got this here a wee bit now today. Don't know how I'm gonna do that. Cause there's no really any curved pieces in the game. Might just half the painted um yeah I think we might just have to paint it on yeah we are painting painting I think will be the easiest yeah painting um so well, what happens if you spray this like what changes on it Oh, that changes, and that's all what changes. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, and the back and the light and all changes too. Cool, well, you know, learn something every day. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a top, guys. This seems like a very big house, so I figured out how to do that. So, the top is then done, and that doesn't stick out at all. So, there was something I did want to do. And it was around the sides there. I wanted to do, to do it with this block, the extruded metal block, because you can see by the top there's like a different metal kind of looking thing. So we are going to do that across the top of this instead of using regular metal. Trying to add a wee bit of a difference. So we'll do that. We'll go three down. And there we go. That's all we need to do. Oh, I almost fell off. Oh, oof. 
Here we go. And we're gonna have to remove three layers on the sides because we added it before thinking about it. Or I added it. I'll not put the blame on you guys. <clears throat> yeah, we had a wee break there as well. Um, we're just getting my dinner. We had some lovely fish and chips. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. Uh, we'll just remove that. Pop that. Um, that's the wrong metal. You're making me mad, game. You're making me mad. Pop. Yeah, because guys, like, this here's got, like, those little dots on them. Just thought it was sort of, like, um, that. But, you can tell me what you think in the comments. I don't really care that much. As long as it looks like the actual item, the actual object, the actual vending machine, then I'll be happy. No! Oh, I actually had bounced up there. Man, this is tall, amigos. Just gotta wait for the elevator off oh, my head. Alright, guys, I finished doing whatever I was doing, going up the elevator, um, and then I fell back down. Don't know why. Oh yeah, I finished in the top as well. So I added these side panels here, so you can't see the ugliness of um, that there sticking out. But next up, I am going to do the B button panel here. So if I look at it, it looks like two up, so that'd be six blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll place it. So that there. It's where the button is going to go, the button panel, right there. Now, I don't know if I should keep it this length or if I should add a wee bit more on. I might add a bit more. Hmm. Just looking at the rest to see. How many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, that's fine. Right. Let's go on up. And let's fill this in to the top. Well, actually. How many of those? Like one, two, three, five. So five times three is fifteen. Now, so we gotta do fifteen blocks. Um, of before we place the next top bit. So we go on up here and we'll finish doing that. So we went one, two, three. Four. Let's just do this here. So there. I'm going to place it there. We'll just do that. And then we can remove all this. Oh, 15. That's. That would be that. So at least I got that fixed and out of the road. Let's um, place this the right way. I think there. I think it's there. Yeah, I think I got it. Let's not move it. 
So for that they're short at night, just have to fill it in now with metal blocks. And then that will be that done. Alright everyone, I'm here on the main money collector that's there. Um, I have made this a wee bit wider because there was not enough room on it. I've also have not painted it either yet. I've painted one of them, not all of them. Um, so next up is the button. I wanted to do something quite special for the button. I wanted to actually work as a button. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to get sensors and put them behind something that has a piston. So if I was to grab a piston, I don't know if it's going to work, just saying. And then grab a sensor here. And we'll just place that there. Alright, and we'll remove you for now. Actually, no, we need you. We need you. Put you just on the edge there. Because we need to see a sear button, so it's a six up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not there, there. So we're going to have to make a button. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that e color rim around it, or else I'll make, I can't make it out of the face, it's too big. I don't think there's any parts that would be useful with this. No, see, it's, it's too small as well. We might have to make a cube, unfortunately. We may have to make a cube. So, let's do, just go ahead and do it. So it seems to be about two, so that'll be one, two, three, four, five. And the six, would that be even? So that just ends there, and that one just ends there, yeah, that's it. Um, now we'll place these here on it, can't really see it, it's not it, is that it, nope, ah, there we go. So we'll place this here, lift up, <coughs> and mm, should we make this to... And then that would be two as well, wouldn't it? Oh, no, no, no. Um, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this side would be one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we'll just connect these across. Like so. So there's the um, place for the button to go in. Now we'll try and make it fit in nice and snug. So we'll put some of these here on it. Not that way. Um, place you there. Place you there. Place you there. And place you there. So the button will fit in there. Now, it becomes the, now it's the tricky part, and that's actually making the working button. So I think I can go one more back, and now it's glass. Yep. But you're not going to see it because like it goes inwards there, so it doesn't really matter. So if we could maybe make a wee path for us to go across here, and we'll we'll make um a little working station in here to work on funny um, mm -hmm. yeah there we go so there won't be much more going on here except for the logic gates and the timers and all that there for the button and all the bearings that will be going off for in there so anyway we've got that sorted now we're going to want to place a wall here Yep, piston now. We will place the piston. Um, we won't want this to be one out of range, so it then moves back. 
no, 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 no. Eh, let's try this here. Go on, two, three, four, five. Let's try, let's try five, sure, let's try five. So we would, um, we would be up in here. Actually, we'll not. We'll just leave it for now. We'll just leave it for now. No, we won't. Um, okay. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. It's just easier for me then to get in and out, you know. So, I'm going to come out here and we'll put the piston here. Now, we're going to want to get a switch. And uh, we'll put the switch here. And that's going to be connected to here and it will be on there's nothing on it yet so it's not going to go forwards now if we hit this let's see it kind of twitches out i don't know if it'll be better if we have a lighter block maybe no oh that's what we need to use instead of a piston we need to use suspension instead. So where's the off-road suspension? Here we go. We'll drop it there. All right. If we put a block there, doesn't really matter what block. It'll go on three. So we'll turn off. You see, it's hard. It's easy to push there the wrong thing there so as you can see we hit it and it bounces in and that's what we want so now we'll place a chair down there so we can easily get access um let's just place the rest here and we'll see if we can do what we want to do so we'll do a cross there and then we'll do some more Notice, yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Super inventive, me. Right, we've got that there done. Let's grab the pinto again, and we will get this painted. So I'm thinking it's white on that and that or like a creamy kind of colour. We'll do this here, orange for now. Hmm. Is there any um look like light block? Not that. Like an actual proper light. I don't think there is. That's a bummer. So go on to them. Place these here. Can we not place them there? Really? That's a bummer. But yeah, look, you can like go and push in. Maybe that'll be a way I get in. Just push the button. Huh? Just go on in. It's like setting up a wee launcher here and. It'd be a bit faster like but anyway so i don't think we'll be able to use those there because we want it to be nice and um well, we just like literally cannot place it oh there we go it must have been in the way is that it yep Have it there, but I'm moving. There we go. And one more. There we go. So, do do. Oops. Oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. So, there's the button done. I don't think we can fit that wee green piece here um, in it, unfortunately. No. Oh, that's a bummer. Big bummer there. Oh well. I could maybe, maybe, 
do that, but that still look nice. Not that. That. Mm, no, I don't think that'll do. No, we'll just we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it like so, and we'll grab these back so we can do it on this part now. Just jump onto here, and we'll fill in these wee bits here. Can we get up? Yep, we can indeed. We'll put that there. So you're probably all wondering, how do we do the button? How do we get it working? So, as you can see, when you hit it, it goes in, right? So it goes in about two. So we're going to want to put it a sensor here. Hey, 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 hey. We want to put the sensor there. So we'll sensor that. So if we get some a light, I think turns on and off. Then you have a switch. Let me check here. This is one of the new lights. They're quite nice. And if that sees that. Oh, I've got my dynamic lights turned off, maybe. Maybe if I turn them on. Huh. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe we'll put a timer down instead. This. And we'll pop that onto there. Oh, okay. Now that's a problem. Let's just dig through here. We'll set in the seat. Ah, is the censoringness on it too much? Ah, and there we go. That should be it fixed now. Just gotta get outside now, and that's all there is to it. Let me just fill this here and then we'll go on up the elevator out of here. <laughs> Almost there. You know, there we go. We'll just do it that way. So, let's go down here. We'll call the elevator. We'll hop in the seat and we'll fly on up and that's all there is to it. Oh, no, we'll just want to hop out of the seat. No, oh. Right, well, I'll see you then, I suppose, up there. Okay, we're just falling down here. As you can see, it's not on right now. And if we hit it, it does turn on, see? So it'll activate a timer when that there happens, and then, and then it'll drop the drink. Isn't that just nifty? So let's um just push this here in. I don't think there's really anything actually in there we need to worry about. We'll just spray paint these and we'll get this here all coloured in to the same colour. We'll remove this because we don't need that platform anymore. And all we need to do now is Place one more of those here and spray paint that. And there we go, guys. There's the button complete. That wasn't too bad. See, so look at that there. Working button. So, guys, um, I wonder if I it does it stick out the button. No, not really. Like I meant like the actual button, not like actually sticking out like that there. So that's unfortunate, it's a square here and it's actually a circle. But lastly, we have the coin slot on this little section. So let's go on up and build the coin slot, I would say. Now, before we actually go up, how much is it? 
um, it's like three, it's three. So three threes are nine. It's quick math, huh? One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven. Oh, oh, this show is not tall enough. Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. That right, we just gotta deal with our problems. Like so. I should I do that and then um, is it curved? I don't think so. No, it's not. So it'll just be solid or metal. A solid old metal, and is it? Um, it seems to be the same with this button, a wee bit smaller. So we gotta make it the same with this, this, just as we said, a wee bit smaller. And we'll open a wee coin hole here. There we go, there's the coin hole. Nothing too bad about that there. And then we'll just put a hole in it to get through to where the coin would go. To the other side. So let's spray paint all in here. And we'll spray paint all in here. And through here. And lastly through here. So now we've got this we hole here for the coins. I don't know if I should make it super complicated and make it so you have to put the coin in to click the button. Don't know how I would do that. Actually I do know how I would do that. So I'm going to go and do it now and I'll see you after. Okay so I have made it. So the um, vending machine needs a coin to work, I, I think. So, the coins will be obviously um, wheels because, you know, just for this test, there will be wheels at least. Um, as you can see, um, if I hit this, it will not turn on. Because last time, it did turn on. So what we need to do, we need to add a wheel. Um, I don't actually know how I'm going to do this. How to add a wheel. That won't roll off, I'm hoping. Let's move that over. Um, let's just place that there. Um, we'll remove that and we'll build this out a bit more, put this up, put the tire down, and there we go. So now all we need to do is not fall off, but roll that into the um, coin slot, and then we should see that uh, okay. So here we are at the top again. We will just place a wall there and we'll place a wall there so that doesn't happen. Um, let's hit it. It'll go in and if we remove all of this mess We should be able to then hit the button and see it work. Which is going to be exciting because I haven't even tested it yet. It's just a theory that it should work. So, mm, something isn't right. Yeah, it did not work. Right, so let's get a chair. I think I might know how to fix this. Let's grab a chair here. Um, let's 
grab some of these. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, we're going to remove that, we're going to remove that, and we're not, and we're going to fall down here when it's totally necessary. So we need it to go into that side. So we are going to make a wall here. So it does go into that side. Just like so. And we'll spray paint those so the target to see. And all we need to do now is fill in the gaps. Now this seemed to come out too far. One. So it'll come out one which should go there, which should go there. Maybe it was too fast. Let's put the speed down a bit. And we'll test it now. So just before we test it, I hit this. I hit this. And if it does not turn on, I put a wheel in. Let's actually do it this way. Let's, um, hmm. I really do not know how to do that because there just is not an easy way. So we'll uh, just do that and we will this here. This is going to show us if, if someone hits a coin in this way, will it still be okay with that? Pick, will it go? into the right direction you know you know yeah. so let's remove that let's hit it oh great it didn't weld it just didn't move that time so let's try again whack it in oh no my coin has got stuck Come on, go in. That's it, go on. Hire we? Did I just break a tire? I didn't even know you could do that. So, we'll do it again. And try not to hit it too many times. Come on. There we go. Nice and snug in there this time. So it should work. It might just be the tire that's not allowing it to work. But that's not flickering now. There we go. So we got it to work. That's just fantastic. So it is. <laughs> I'm all proud of myself. That works. So, we'll just delete these parts and we'll get on to the next bit. I wonder where that wheel went. Ah, didn't break it. Just glitched out of the wall. Maybe I'll need to upgrade that there later on, but for now it's staying like that. Let's right now actually finish that wee bit and get it all done so we will be building it all the way oh no come on place it back um get the color it's one of these ones i know i think we'll post that one we're going to want to get i think that was right is that the yes it is so we want it broke across there so we can place this across here and it's as simple as that just place it across and voila now we just gotta pop these in place 
let's actually just place a chair again on the top here. We can delete that later. We'll build these. This is a bit that I'm happy about that got removed in the first part of when I recorded it and it lagged out. I didn't need, I don't need the, didn't, I don't have to show you me placing all of these down around the bottom because it was really slow and really boring. And it was, it really was. So I don't need to show you that, which is fantastic. But anyway, let's build that across there. And I'll put that across there. I'm going to finish this wee bit here and I'll see you once I have done it. Alright guys, I've done some work around the thing. And um, so this is what the normal one looks like. Let's see what mine looks like. Ooh, ta -da! It looks pretty good. I forgot to paint that top bit. Let's just do that now quickly. I've been using this toilet method the whole most of the time. Once I do this bit, I will show you what else I have been <coughs> working on. Okay, place that across there. Do that. And do that. And now we can look at it and see it to its former glory. It's not bad. I'll be honest, it's not bad at all. It's just the one thing that bothers me is these, and that you can still see the yellow pipes. But besides that, looks quite good. So this is what I've done over this time. I've painted this side, I've painted all these, I've done the back wall. Don't know about the hole yet, but I've also done that wall as well. So it's mostly all painted now, besides the roof. And I even gave some of the elevator a bit of paint as you can see. But now all we really have to do is do the inside. So, before I continue, these here, you know, like I've got little cracks there in between them, but there isn't here. I can fix that by using these, but I'm going to do that off camera. So, right now, I'm going to build these here, little guys. Um, since there's only one button, I won't have to make it like a vending machine where you got two numbers like 0, 06 or. 2-4 or whatever to, for that specific drink because it looks like these um, sun shakes are just held by like little clamps so I'll just have to add these bits here and then connect these little bits to these so once I've done that or once I've done one of these I'll see you then and we'll put them in the machine Okay, people, <clears throat> now I've got the top of it done, so next up we are going to get this logo done, and that will mostly be the front completed, and I forgot to do strip stills behind there, but as you can see I have done those, and they came out quite well, I am happy with them, and they move like in and out and all. And I also changed these so they are more smoother as well. Don't know about the light at the top yet. Might change this that to this light. This light. Yeah, because I can do that all. So I might change it. But let's get this here signed on. So we'll make it out of metal again. What one looks the most plain? Looks like this one again. So, we'll just make a big, big bit here. And then, 
we'll just get started into it. Alright guys, I've built the, the like logo on the vending machine. All we gotta do now is stick it onto a bearing and put it up to the top. Okay, so I've got the sign and all up here. I'm just had copied and pasted them up here. So far I've got them at a little bit of a tilt. Um, we're just going to pop this one up here so we can then attach this to it and we'll put it at an angle. Just got to find the correct spot to do it at. There. Try there. And is it connected? No, it's not connected. So we'll go in here and we'll connect this. We'll not put it as high as that. We'll put it maybe at 26. Not too much. Maybe 20. I'm thinking. Might have put these. Maybe the sign a bit too close to the edge. But, eh, whatever. Try 15. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. So that's another one done. We've got one more. I don't think I'll have room to put the last one on though. So let's just continue. We'll just keep putting them on here. Uh, yeah, I've put, I've put it too close to the end. Oh. Well, that's a good thing that I did what I did. As you see at the back of here, I put two on so it'll be easier to get it to cut off. So I'm gonna have to grab this when it falls. Got it. Good. Right. And those ones there are gonna have to go as well. So maybe then about here I would say. That there might be it. Put that on there. We'll put that in there. We'll get rid of these. Don't care if that falls. Those are easy to clean up. But this should be it. Okay, now. So if I get the block stick out about here. Right here. And then um, drop that. Don't fall. Oh, I think you stop there. Yeah. Oh, path's in the way. Why path? Oh, I'm lucky I didn't take that off. That would have been bad. That would have been very, very bad. Let's, um, let's connect it over here. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of that and we'll put this on. Okay, this one's in the way. And that should be that done. Now let's just attach this on to here. That's upside down, isn't it? There we go. So that's on to there. And let's just put the path along. So we can get inside and we'll put it at what it was before it was um hit team there we go don't be blocking me in here yeah that's that's uh there it's too high now great it's too high uh, Mm, I think it's too much that way still as well. It's definitely much bigger than that. <laughs> Got the size of it. It was in a better position last time. Maybe it's just too much of a tilt. That could be it as well. Let's put it down to five. Because the tilt isn't that much on here. It's not enough though, yeah. 
maybe it is it's just because it's big, it looks like it's farther away. So, let's just squeeze out here, see what that looks like, and yeah, yeah, I think that's alright. That's gonna be really annoying though, that's hanging over it like that, but there's nothing we can really do about it, unfortunately, because if I make the item smaller, then it's hard to make it out and all that. So the sign is gonna have to stay like this. Big bummer, but everything can't be right. So let's put one there. Let's attach this to it. Would that be right? Or would I need to go lower? No, I think that's it. And then there would be another one, like here. We'll build that, and we'll weld it onto there. We'll get another one. We'll build it, drop it, we'll put a bearing up here for it, and we'll weld it on, like so, and lastly one more, that'd be right, it needs to be a wee bit higher, we'll just go up in the elevator here. And I'll put it. Let's put it there. We'll put this. Pop it down. We'll go on up. One more. That's not right. There we go. I'll put you on there. Now we just got to put you lot into the um, controller. We'll put you at the correct angle, and then that'll be the sign done. Then we can get rid of this path and have a look at it. So, what would these be at? These have to go this way, I think. That doesn't seem too bad. I might put it at 45 though. I'll put it to 45, I'll put that one to 30, I'll put that one to 15, and I'll put that one there to minus 15. Okay, big mistake, we got to put this one to minus 15, and this one to 30. Is that right? Nope. Okay, then we'll do 30 and 45, because that's... Since it's the opposite side, it would make sense for it to be the opposite measurements. No. Okay, like that one's okay, but that one there still looks kind of messy. So, next is 60, alright, I thought it was 90 next. 60 might be alright. 60! There you go, the chosen one! Hmm. I think I'll be okay. Let's um this patch in this hole and we'll check it sure. Cause there's no harm checking um thing out and then fixing it after. So let's go. That was not at all. I was expecting a big fun ride, but no. There we go. Boom. We'll just delete that. Alright. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Now, it looks pixelated because of my render distance. I think I need to put my... Um, what is it? Draw distance. I'll put it to very high. Oh, that still doesn't load them in. Close. Oh. So 
useful if I go behind this, they despawn. If I go a bit closer, it's fine. So let's just go up on this here. So that's what it looks like so far. It's looking pretty good. If, if I do say so myself, the sign might be just a wee bit too big. But there's not much we can do about that. So, yeah. I'm going to leave the first episode here, guys. Um, in the next episode, we are going to be painting the sides. We're going to be doing the back. And then that side as well. And then we'll be doing just some wee finishing touches in the inside. And then that should be it. Our final, our first build ever completed. So yeah guys, um, hope you enjoyed this one. Let's get rid of these toilets while I'm talking. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of building the Sunshake vending machine guys. For my first, like, good build. I think it actually came out really well. You tell me what you think in the comments. And then we'll go on from there. So guys, thanks all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!